Ready? Um, thank you guys for coming to the Miyan. Amazing davening. I'm going to say two halachot. So I was going to say halacha, but uh, I'm ushering the Kiddusha, maybe at the end. But um, we were saying Hashkava today. We all heard the tragic news about the passing of the young Yeshiva boy. And I said his name is Hashkava. He was a uh, student of mine at one point. And uh, so somebody blurred out at the back of his what you could say Hashkava before a person is buried. How could you say that? So the truth is that there is a machloket, not regarding Hashkava, but regarding Kaddish. So we're going to talk about that for a second. What's the machloket and how did I learn from that to say Hashkava before? You know, before a person is buried, the guy is called an Onen. Onen is a guy that is patur me mitzvot, right? He's not chayav in any mitzvot. Aseh. If he eats, he eats without a bracha. He doesn't wear tefillin. For family members. Eh? For family members. When, a, when he's a mourning for his seven closest family members, father, mother, wife, uh, brother, uh, sister, uh, and the children. So therefore, he's, he's patur from all the mitzvot. So the poskim, right? There's a machlok in the poskim, shach taz, over there in Siman uh, Shin Mem Aleph, I believe. In your red, yeah. Could he say Kaddish before Stimat HaGodel? Stimat HaGodel, we know Shiva starts when you put the person in the ground. But when do you, so that year, when is he gonna finish the Shiva? From the time, seven days from when the, so if the burial took three, two, three days, they're gonna do the seven days from the burial, not from the de- time of death, but the subsequent years, when are they gonna hold the your side on the day of his death? But that year and that year alone, they count 12 months, seven and 30 from the time of the burial. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Because the, they say the deen of the person, the deen only starts from the stimata golev. So therefore the shiva only could start from the time they put him in the ground. So the post can say, ah, because of that, since the shiva only starts from the time they put him in the ground. If it takes two, three days till burial, you should only start saying Kaddish from when? From the burial, right? So like the person said, so why should you say Kaddish? Ah, but the Taz, I believe it's the Taz, I have to look it up again, says, no. Even though the Deen and the Shiva starts only from the time of the seven days, you could always add Zchuyot. You could always add merits. You could always add an Aliyah that will be used later on for the person. From the deed. So therefore, some of the poskim say you could even start Kaddish, the Onen could say Kaddish even before the burial takes place. And from that I learned that if you can say Kaddish, according to those poskim, you could also say Hashkava. So that was for that. Uh, now, one halakha regarding tefillah. There is sometimes in the Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Sifkaro, Maran, he brings down certain halachot and he says them in a very interesting lashon, lashon in a very interesting language. It's a halakha book. You wouldn't think he would say, have extra kavana on this, do this as a sigula. But once or twice he does that. One time he does that is in Ashrei Ubalet Zion. In halakha of Ashrei Ubalet Zion, he writes like this. We have to translate the Kedusha of Ubalet Zion, as we do in Aramaic, right? You have to be very careful to say Ashrei and Ubal Etzion, especially Ubal Etzion is speaking about here, with Kavana. The Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh of Ubal Etzion has to be said with extra Kavana, says Maran, and the Mishnah Bura adds over here, he says over here, From the time the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, the world stands on the Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh of Ubal Etzion. That's what the Mishnah Bura brings down here. He's quoting a, 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 a Gemara. So what's the the, the, at least have Kavana of the Milim. Hashem is Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. That's the Pshat Kavana. Huh? Ah, that's the next Halakha. Could you say it even alone? And so the Ramah adds over here that you could say the Kedusha of Balatzion alone, just like you could say the Kedusha of Yotzer or alone. But the Kedusha of the Shemona Yisrael. That you need ten people. Baruch Adonai Amen. Amen. Rabbi Hanan Ibn